My name is Kujo Owusu-Wachow. I'm a second year orthopedic surgery resident at Duke University. Orthopedic surgery is focused on increasing and maintaining people's mobility. We're focused on the bones and the joints throughout the body. Usually wake up 4.30, 5 a.m., coming into work. People told me, oh, residency is hard, you don't sleep much, but you don't know what that means until you actually go through it. There's an absolute deficit in black males going into medicine. The problem was multifocal. So we need to take a harder look at what it is that is keeping our youth from doing whatever their destiny says they need to be pursuing. It seems like society wants black men in particular to be apologetic or to be sorry for being in a certain place. My father taught me that you can be unapologetically black and be unapologetically excellent. And those two things are not at all mutually exclusive. I've never had anybody say something like, oh, I don't want a black physician, but there's certain interactions you can kind of tell, like they don't necessarily trust you, don't think you necessarily are as good as somebody else. And it could be for other reasons, it could be because I'm tall, I don't know, it could be because I'm skinny, but, <laughs> but uh, it also could very well be because I'm black and that is always gonna cross my mind. But that's not gonna affect the excellent job that I'm gonna perform here. I was trained to do this job, I'm excellent, and I'm gonna do what I came to do. My parents are both immigrants from Ghana. My parents saw academics as ways to find opportunities later on and to open up doors. I grew up in South Lake, Texas, which is near Dallas. It was a comfortable place to grow up. You know, a certain level of affluence lends a level of opportunity. There's a tendency to want to attract students in certain directions. These are the gifted students. These are the whatever students. And that started early. It started way before they developed to show who they're really going to be. You go to a school counselor at a school like I went to that's affluent, and they have all these resources ready for you. You go to a school with not as affluent, they may not have the same resources just because it's not funded the same way. The only difference between me and anybody else not in my position is opportunity. I was just given opportunity, and I see that as a responsibility on my part to offer the opportunity to other people. I have a private kind of personality, a state of myself had it to my own devices. I would just be staying at home, playing my saxophone at church. I like to think I'm an introvert that plays an extrovert on TV, but that's not really an option. You know, I'm a resident now, and so now it comes with responsibility to speak up. Duke University has one of the highest numbers of minority students. So me and some of my co-residents started a foundation, the Coalition of Black Physicians, CBP. A lot of medical school becomes subjective and becomes how well you interact with your team on the wards in the hospital, which frankly oftentimes does not involve a lot of other black people. A lot of people misunderstand you or misconstrue their interactions with you and that can lead to you having a lower grade. Ultimately, our job is to serve. You come into a patient's room and it's really, it's not about you at all. It's about what does this patient need from me in this interaction and you're there to provide that. Coming into medicine with this um, concept and this notion that the leader needs to be a servant, it changes your whole perspective. And it's important for patients to feel like they have an advocate in the system, to feel like whoever it is they're talking to is someone they can trust and will advocate for them. You know, when someone is in a position where they're sick, it changes their whole life. They can't do what they need to do. So you kind of help people realize their potential through medicine, which is what I like about it. My name is Kujo Owusu-Wachow. I'm a black man in a white coat.